Except for you to welcome back to another amazing video by Utam Diz. And those are good today. We're talking about a different kind of people. These are people as Zulu people would say. These are people who have a different kind of drive towards education. Look, I understand. It is December and people want to breathe. But these kind of people that I'm talking about are wondering, what can I do to prepare for the next grade? What can I do to prepare for grade 11? What can I do to prepare for grade 12? Even though I'm in December, I feel this drive that I need to achieve more. I need to do better. If that's the kind of person that you are, you're in the perfect video. But you to go to home, subscribe, Enjoy the video. So before we start, Bafudu, let me tell you a little story that you might know, you might not know. Now, this story is about two men who were given two X's and were given two trees. So each man was given a tree and an X and another one a tree and an X and told that you must chop down this tree, a huge tree, mind you, in seven days. The first man decided, you know what, the best way to go about this is that I give my maximum effort and I just chop at that tree every single day. And that's what he did. By the time the seven days had finished, his hands were full of blisters. He was tired, his body was aching, and he was only halfway through, and his ex was fully blunted, and he was not done. The other man was like, for the first two days, I'm going to just sit down and I'm going to sharpen my ex. I'm going to sharpen my ex so that by the time I chop, it is nice and swift. And I, even though I'm going to put in maximum effort, but I'm going to make more progress. And that is exactly what he did. And by the fifth day, the tree fell down. What am I trying to say here, Buffett? I mean, Okoti, what is important in anything is proper preparation. If you remember the five P's, I see the proper preparation prevents poor performance. And that is what we're here to emphasize, Okoti. Prepare for the next grade so that you prevent poor performance. In fact, you're going to produce perfect performance. So, Buffett, there are two ways to prepare for your next grade. So, number one is a mechanism where you look forward into what is coming. Number two is the mechanism where you look backward into what was covered. This already makes sense. Very simple. So let's talk about the people who actually look forward. These are the kind of people that understand about Emma, the next grade might be longer or shorter than I expect. Young tall. And there's always that rush that happens towards the end when exams are approaching. I want to avoid that. I want to be ready. I want to understand information in a different way. I want to be ahead. So they start covering topics now for the next grade. For example, let's say you're in grade 11. You start covering topics in like grade 12. Yeah? To allow yourself room to breathe when it's already exam time, you have enough time to revise. You get me? So you cover grade 12 topics while you're still in grade 11, December, people are resting. But the people who look back, these are the kinds of people that are like, look, I understand that building a solid foundation is quite important. Therefore, I'd rather spend my time solidifying the information that I already know. So that when the grade 12 information arrives, I understand, but I build it on perfect foundation so that I can build stronger and higher. Both these mechanisms, guys, are excellent, but they're excellent for different kinds of people. Yeah, but, so for example, the people who like in you know, the forward thinking, which let me cover information in advance. These are the people who already have a good foundation of their grade 11 work. These are the people who get distinctions already in grade 11, grade 10. These are the people who get good marks. You get me? Perform well. They already understand their work. They're just happy to progress into the next level of understanding. I always recommend this for them because they already have solid foundation and therefore have a good springboard to understand further information. However, if you are not getting good marks in grade 11 and grade 10 and you're going to the next grade, I do not recommend that you go forward when I recommend that you look back. Young Tom. So as we continue with this looking forward mechanism, these are the people that operate under a simple principle. I want to get ahead and I want to stay ahead. Because what is the point of getting ahead if then when the year starts, you're going to just catch up with everyone else and end up operating at the same pace? What advantage are you conferring to yourself by sacrificing your December? 
Young child, the aim is that you get ahead now, then you stay ahead during the year so that you allow enough time for yourself for revision when it comes to exam time and you allow enough time for practicing past papers and maximizing the marks that you'll get in the exam. So how to actually go about this during your December period? You want to sit down and you want to choose big subjects like your math, science, accounting and home languages. And in those subjects, you want to take big topics right, that account for more marks and past papers. And you want to start learning those topics. And you'll realize that they're most likely add-ons. They're just adding more information, building from the balance that you already have. Most of you were performing very well in your previous grade. So you're only building now more information. So you use all the resources that you have around you at your disposal. A trusted textbook or YouTube or any tutor that is available to show you around this time. And you use that time to prepare for the next grade. This is excellent Bafidu, because by the time the year starts, you're confident and you're hitting it hard already. Yeah, because you've already prepared, you've already sharpened your X. So in this schedule of yours, got December, ne? your aim is to say, for example, I'm going to cover two topics or three topics per day. Yeah, but it can be in any subject, as Ngulo's choose layer, but the aim is that I'm going to cover two to three topics each and every day. Then you allocate hours, okay, I can work from this time to this time every single day. Consistency and discipline are key elements, yeah, of course. And that is what you do throughout December. Record keeping, yeah, Buffett, is a key element for this thing, young yeah, Because you need to know what topics have you covered. What topics do you still need to cover? What topics have I covered fully and I fully understand and I practice past papers to prove that I understand this? And what topics do I still need to practice past papers? And what I normally recommend, which is a good idea actually, is to cover two topics, ne? especially those that come after each other in the past papers, so that when you practice past papers, you can use that method that I taught you in the other video. If you haven't seen that video, please pause. Go to the video where I talked to you about doing past papers effectively. Then come back. Then use that method to assess how well you understand a topic. So that if you're not doing well in a past paper, you can go revisit the topic to see Uguti, what loopholes are still left for me to fill. Now let us go back now to the method of looking back. I love this method personally because this is what I used. Yeah, but this is for the people who are not confident on how they performed in the previous grade and they feel like their foundation is not solid enough to move forward. This is still part of sharpening your X, but now it is looking back to ensure that I build on a solid foundation. Let me tell you a little story about the Burj Khalifa. Burj Khalifa is the tallest building in the world. Young talk, it is about 829 meters long which is slightly shorter than the actual table mountain, as a Cape Town Buffet, which is about 1,086 or, eight, or 29 meters long. Young tall, it's very tall, this thing. They built it in Dubai, and they built it on sand. How do you build something on sand? Even the Bible does not agree with building something on sand, Buffet. It means that the engineering team had to be very intelligent, and they took about five years to do this. I think they built it from 2004 to 2009. You know what they did? They used this mechanism we said sharpening your X. They spent the first six months digging. They want to go up, but they first spent time going down. It applies to what we are doing now. Before we go forward, we need to go back. So they dug deep, these people, to build a strong foundation. And they used concepts of physics, of friction, and whatnot to prevent this building from falling because it was built on sand and sand collapses easily. So they had to dig deep and build solid foundations so that when they go up, they go the highest. So there's the same mechanism. If you're going back, Buffett, you're building a good springboard for yourself to jump the highest. And that is exactly what worked for me. So what you want to do is that you want to identify the big subjects, identify the big topics, and identify your knowledge gaps. Young child, and you do this through practicing past papers and you see, but yeah, man, I do not understand functions at all. Therefore, you go back and you're like, let me solidify my understanding. Use a textbook, you use YouTube, and you use these past papers. Identify, then try to fill in. You have a nice book that you've bought for yourself for that particular subject, and you're going to write in it, and you're going to learn the information, Kabu, which is if it was new to you, and you're going to make your soil foundation go very, very solid. So that when you go to grade 12, you can build on that foundation. You know, but I already understand this. They're just adding here and there and there. Young child, the reason a lot of people fail in grade 12 is because what they add is new information, they're not even comfortable with the information that they learned in grade 11. 
which is very sad. So here you have a nice book that you've bought for yourself for that particular subject that you're going to cover those topics for. Then you have nice record keeping to say, which I've covered these topics, I still need to cover these topics. I've practiced past papers for this one. I'm happy with the percentage that I'm getting using the method that I taught you. Then after that, record keeping is nice. You know what you know, you know what you don't know. And therefore you can keep progressing with the time that you have. But guys, understand, even though we are using this method, it is still important when you get to create 12 to stay ahead. It means that now when you get to create 12, you'll have to work a little bit harder so that you stay ahead of your teacher. You need to know what topics the teacher is going to cover and in what order so that you can work and stay three to four topics ahead. This still will allow you and confer that advantage. But at the end of the day, you have enough time to revise and you have enough time to do past papers and you have enough time to succeed. I hope this makes sense. Before we reach the end of the video, my friend, let me remind you, sacrifice requires individual devotion. Don't operate on what your friends are doing, on what people you know are doing. This is your life. This is your family. This is your dream. Ne? The sacrifice that you make is going to benefit you and only you. If you decide, but no, I'm not going to make these sacrifices towards my education, then you will reap the fruits of those decisions. But if you decide, I'm going to sacrifice, I deserve to see myself succeed. I deserve to put in 100% and reap out 100% or even more. Then this is your journey to take. You will not regret it, guys. We have traveled this path and we have seen what it does. Therefore, we give advice based on our experiences. I got my seven distinctions. Five of my subjects in the 90s, I know what I did and I know what can work, right? Try it out and see if it will work for you, right? Operate this discipline, operate this devotion to succeeding and you might just succeed. Those are going to have reached the end of our video. I wanted to keep it short this time around, right? If you have any suggestions, write it in the comment section, man. Don't forget to like, to subscribe, to share this video with people so that, guys, we continue planting trees under whose shade we do not plan to sit and we continue climbing the ladder and leave it for someone else to climb because there's enough space for all of us at the top. Those are good. If you don't know what video you want, just write another one. Dumb Diesel, Dumb Diesel will produce another one. Those are good. There's the nice. Please don't forget to click the notification button so that you're the first to know when another amazing video. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the Fagulani channel. Don't forget to subscribe and follow us.